We are talking about people's lives here. During his 30-year career in medical research, Dr. Corey Casper worked to understand infectious diseases, the immune system, and cancer. As the chief research officer at Banner Health, he says much of his research wouldn't have been possible without the National Institutes of Health. Investments in medical research are critical. That being said, some of the changes that are being contemplated right now at the federal level could have long lasting and severe consequences for research in this country. As part of the Trump administration's move to cut costs, they plan to reduce funding for indirect research expenses, things like equipment, facilities, staff, and administration. Dr. Casper says that could threaten progress toward prevention and treatment of diseases like Alzheimer's. Certainly our Alzheimer's program is, is really one of the crown jewels of Alzheimer's research anywhere in the world. Banner Health was awarded more than $17 million during the 2024 fiscal year, most of it going to research, studies, and clinical trials. We could have um, a blood test to tell someone whether they're at risk for developing Alzheimer's and preventative treatments for those individuals to, to prevent them from ever getting Alzheimer's, that's within our reach within the next two years. And that's being supported by tens of millions of dollars of federal research. Banner Health receives both federal and private funding, so they may be in a better position to handle the cuts, unlike universities, which rely almost entirely on federal grants. The impact could be could be dramatic. Um, it could literally put them out of business from doing medical research and have broad impacts on their workforce. Already this fiscal year, ASU, U of A, and NAU have received a combined total of nearly $25 million from NIH. Most of these universities are very rich. They have tons of money in the bank. ASU and U of A have endowments worth over $1 billion. It's one reason why Dr. Carl Schramm, a scientific economist at Syracuse University, University defends the new Trump policy. And I think what the what the federal government is basically saying is, you know, put some skin in the game for heaven's sakes. You're very wealthy. You're not fragile. Arizona Attorney General Chris Mays joined 21 other states in a lawsuit against the Trump administration to put those cuts on hold. For now, at least, the court sided with Mays and the other attorneys general. Reporting live in the newsroom, Alexis Dominguez for Arizona's Family.